Road. Welcome to a corner farming in the Philippines. Uh, Nerio and uh, Jin Jin are uh, prepping the soil to plant the squash. I bought, I don't know, like 500 seeds yesterday. So, I don't know, we'll get a lot of this. I think that's enough to plant most of this field. Jen was just saying how much easier it is to work this soil than the soil in field two. Uh, I don't know, go figure. I mean, she had brought this hoe down here because that's what she had used in field two, but this is not necessary. They're just using their, well, I don't even know if you can call those bolos. They're just like, well, they're very small bolos. So they're prepping this up and getting it ready. Is uh, Ging Ging coming today? This afternoon. This afternoon? Okay. So uh, I think when Ging Ging comes, well, I don't know. Depends on how far you guys get. Uh, Probably be better to have Nerio helping me and Tatai this afternoon and you and Ging Ging continue with the planting. Yeah? Okay, Nerio? Mm. Uh. I'm uh, taking a little break from the hacking over there and I'm gonna head up to the house. I say I never get down here with my water in the beginning. I don't know why. So I'm going to go up and get my water bottle and head back down. Okay, so uh, all a little bit different perspective than what you're used to seeing. Uh, that's field six right down there, and that has all been planted in squash. So. We're just waiting on that to come up. That right there is where the squash has been planted and the bananas uh, from last year. Uh, right now they're uh, planting um, okra right there. That's where our little uh, corn patch was before. And that was harvested last week. So uh, I got the fertilizer yesterday. We're going to be fertilizing this corn right here. It's actually looking pretty good. Uh, it's nice and green. Well, you can't see because I'm standing behind this banana tree. And that's a little bit better perspective there. So the nice rich green color is indicative of there being plenty of nitrogen in the soil. It was fertilized. Uh, Jen, when did you fertilize this corn? Last week? Okay, so we're not going to fertilize it this next week. We're going to wait about three weeks more and fertilize it again. So it'll probably be about a foot taller when we fertilize it again. And we're going to heavily fertilize it. And all that uh, area right there will be ready to be fertilized the first time. Because that's all in corn as well. Not quite as thick, thickly planted as this. Uh, this is kind of, kind of an experiment. Now, when I put the holes in here, put them uh, three wide, same as the onions over there. And it was planted three wide, uh, pretty thick. So that's about, uh, I don't know, eight inch spacing for those corn plants. Uh, the ones that were planted over there, because it kind of did a guesstimation on the seed and uh, came to the conclusion that it would probably just, if we uh, planted all three of those, we'd run out of seed. So only the outside was planted. Uh, the two rows on the outside, the middle row of holes was left um, 
empty. So it's not planted quite so thickly over there and we'll see if there's uh, uh, any difference in yield uh, based on planting them really thick or not so thick. This okra here is doing really good. Onions are doing well. The peppers are doing well over there. Uh, the grow crops are doing good. It's just where we're leaning, uh, we're leaning somewhere else. And uh, we're gonna focus on these bananas and the squash. And like I said uh, several videos ago, we're not going to abandon these row crops. I'm gonna let it play out until about December. And at that time, uh, well, by that time, the other side of field six will be uh, planted in bananas and squash as well, but uh, we're going to uh, put mounds and put bananas and squash in these fields as well, uh, field four and field five. And so it'll be bananas and squash everywhere. And we're going to expand our garden up by the house a bit. Uh, we're gonna, and, and that's all going to be for personal consumption. We'll have onions up there and uh, corn, some okra, uh, some peppers, and a few beans, and that's it. And that's going to be uh, for us. And we might, you know, a few tomatoes, but uh, not. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just, you know, the thing with tomatoes here, you just got to keep planting them. Like every two weeks, you got to plant another bunch. So that's probably what we're going to be doing is every couple of weeks, we'll put another six plants in the ground. And so that way you'll have something of a continuous supply. And that's what we're going to do. And that's going to be our old garden area up around the house. And all these other fields, bananas and squash. And all around this plateau, bananas and squash. We did get fertilizer. Well, I did get fertilizer uh, yesterday. These bananas that are remaining right here are going to be fertilized uh, pretty heavily. Uh, I'm of the opinion that they're either going to uh, stop this stunted growth and actually take off or uh, die. Because I'm going to fertilize them a lot. And if they just don't spring out of the ground, then we'll take them out and we'll put bulbs in. And we're gonna give them about six weeks to uh, show me if they're going to uh, take off or not. These down here are doing much better. Uh, but those there, not so much. We're gonna see. Alrighty, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.